early on in an epidemic, and obviously in the United States, we're still a little over a week into this current epidemic. Um, and, and obviously, you know, based on uh, the fact that we're just starting to ramp up testing, um, early on, it's really the sickest that usually go to healthcare services and seek out healthcare services. And so those are the reported cases. And so there's always this severity bias, if you will, uh, in terms of knowing these are the cases that are presenting to healthcare systems. And then out of that, a subset, obviously, um, you know, you have a, a case fatality rate, a fatality rate associated with it. But there's a number of individuals out there that obviously have the disease that are not getting up to the level of seeking healthcare services. So they're not in the overall case count. But this is where that 80-20 rule tends to come into, it, into play. So 80% of the cases, obviously, are going to be mild. And then about 20% obviously are going to be more severe and then even a, a, a smaller subset of that are going to be critical. And so, you know, this is one of those things that time will tell how severe this uh, current virus is uh, in the setting that we have here in the state of New York. If we try to find the positives here, one of the things I was reading is that it seems as if this is a virus that actually mutates quite slowly. So therefore, if there is a vaccine that's developed, it could be a longer lasting vaccine, you know, like for the, for the measles or the mumps or TB, etc., um, as opposed to a temporary vaccine that you have to have and change every single year like we do for the seasonal flu. Is that what you're experiencing as well, Syrah? So that is correct. And, uh, you know, as we talk about vaccines, we know that obviously a vaccine is not readily available right now. Luckily, uh, there has been, uh, you know, some uh, companies going into clinical trials for a vaccine. So there's many different companies obviously trying to produce a vaccine. It's not just one particular, you know, agency or company trying to, to uh, create a vaccine for coronavirus disease. So we know that some of them have uh, embarked on the human clinical trial, but we still are at least, you know, um, 12 to 18 months out before we can have a safe and effective vaccine that can be available and administered um, to the human population. But obviously before then, this is where, you know, um, public health measures like social distancing need to come into play and then additional everyday measures that public health officials constantly harp on to buy us more time and to reduce the number of cases that are appearing um, everywhere throughout the nation. Hi, I'm Emily Tan and thanks for watching CNBC. You can check out more of our videos by clicking on the boxes on the screen and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more. Thanks for watching.